You're developing quite a series against John Tillman. <laughs> uh, past few games have been instant classics almost. Maybe not today as much. What's it like for you to play against? I know you don't actually play. Well, I'll say coach against yeah. him. Yeah, well, it started back in the Ivy League in yeah. 2008, 2009, 10. I mean, he was at Harvard and I was at Brown. And uh, so we had some battles there as well. But, uh, yeah, as a, for me in 2016, when I was at Brown, my final year there, and had an overtime loss in the Final Four to uh, John Terrapins. And, um, what I've learned, and I've said this before, I'm going to say it again, I, I try to assess our program on sort of three pillars. Talent acquisition, the recruiting, development of that talent, you know, those extra skill sessions and how much better the individual gets. And then the team portion, the schemes, the culture, the, what you put them in, the implementation, and the tempo of play. I, I've always admired John Tillman. He just is, is recruiting, how his men get better, and then the systems they run. There's just very few flaws. Um, and, you know, you just, you just can't find those openings that are always going to be there because he's constantly putting his men in the best position possible with good coaching. And they, 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 they tune him in because of his positivity and the way he, he, uh, he coaches his men. So, but yeah, so it's, it's funny because there's this, there's more of an intensity of the rivalry, I think amongst the fans of Maryland versus Virginia, you know, but John Tillman, uh, I have a tremendous amount of respect for him and I call him a friend and so we talk a lot on the phone.